So I took a little road trip, went across the border to Oklahoma mm-hmm. to get my haircut yesterday. Ooh. I have to go to Oklahoma <laughs> to get my haircut. Hey, it, it looks good. I, I thought maybe you got your haircut today. Because I'm wearing a hat. Yeah. <laughs> But like, you know, you see like in the back. Okay. So on, yeah. yeah. You can well, see like the nice trim line there. Yeah. yeah. Kelly, she does a good job. She's worth driving to Oklahoma for. Okay. For the last like 17 years, I think. Wow. No kidding. I think I have hair trust issues. Like, once <laughs> I find somebody. Like, no, I hear you. I'm like, I'm, I'm there with you. Like, unless you violate my trust, I'm loyal. So. I'll drive across the state line if I have to. Kelly has been. Seriously, yeah. cutting your hair for 17 years? 17 years. Yep. Wow. Yep. She's pretty legit. She does a good job. Man. And uh, she's always delightful to just, she always has great stories. I yeah. think hairdressers or haircut people, whatever the right term is, mm-hmm. professionals, hear the best stories. But then she, she always brings a few of her own too, like from her own life, which I appreciate. It's yeah. not just telling other people's stories. And she's a single mom who recently has decided to get back into the dating game. Okay. okay. Her her kids are older now, and she was like, I think I'm, I'm going to try this. And with all the new technology, uh-huh. the, you know, the apps and all that stuff. And I just have to say, if you're in that world, you've lived a few years of life, and you're trying to get back into the, as she calls it, I'm going to shoot my shot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She said, I'm going to shoot my shot. <laughs> Okay. Actually, some some like ninety year old client. That was her her advice to her. Okay. Just, just shoot your shot, girl. All right. Like, put yourself out there and see. It's like okay, that is not for the faint of heart. Mm-mm. She was telling me the stories. I was like, wow, that I'm just my level of admiration for those who put themselves out there in that way. Well, I have I was like, wow, a really good friend. She, um, had not dated for a while for probably three years. She had lost her husband. He'd actually passed away and it had been probably three or four years maybe. And she just decided she would try that. Yeah. And the first person she connected with was just this godly, incredible guy. Really? They connected like chemistry the wise. Gate? They were attracted to each, all of it. Wow. They go on one date. It was a hit. They go on another date, another hit, another date. Just just hitting it off. Just okay. chemistry. Next thing you know, like about a year and a half later, they got married. What a cool yeah. story. Right out of the gate. Okay. So, so I, I, I bring hope to all there, of you that are thinking about that. You know, There just is hope. Shoot your shot. Yeah, just like that 93-year-old <laughs> said. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. Ready for some good news? We are too. Here's your positive difference story of the day. All right, Mark. So the scene is Cracker Barrel. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> I'm there. I got, I got it. All right. This is one of my. Uh, is there a fire in the fireplace? Uh, I'm sure there is. Okay, There's right, a fire good. in the fireplace. The okay. smell of bacon and, oh, and yeah. eggs okay. and pancakes, all, right. all yeah. the good stuff. I'm there. Well, Lieutenant Colonel. Daily. Okay. He's entering Cracker Barrel uh, for an early lunch with his family. Okay. Well, about the same time, eight-year-old Miles Eckert, he's coming in with his family, too. Okay. And Miles is excited. He is pumped up. Okay. But it's not because of the Cracker Barrel, which I would be. (laughs) Right. Understandable. Okay. Um, It's because he had just found a $20 bill in the parking lot. On their way in. On their way in. Okay. okay. 20 bucks when you're eight years old. Too. I know. That's a lot of money for me today. Yeah. I would be pretty excited. Right. I know. Well, according to Miles, the first thought he had in his head when he saw that $20 bill and picked it up, no one's around. He's just like, here it is, is he's thought, I can get me a video game. Mm. Okay. Mm. And he's really pumped up and he walks in, but he sees Lieutenant Colonel Daly. Okay. And his family. And he said that... The soldier reminded him of his own dad. Mm. And so he decided to take that $20 bill he found, and he wrapped it in a note, and he went over and handed it to Lieutenant Colonel Daly. Okay. Who's sitting there with his family. Yeah. And this is what the note said. Written by Miles, eight-year-old Miles. Okay. Eight-year-old Miles says, my dad was a soldier. He's in heaven now. Mm. I found this $20 bill in the parking lot when we got here. We like to pay it forward in our family. 
It's your lucky day. Thank you for your service. Wow, he came up with that on his own? Yeah. Wow. And it said, Miles Ecker. Man. And, uh, Can you imagine receiving that? No. I mean, it's just incredible. And the soldier even said, he said he looks at that note every single day. And it drives him for mm. what he's doing as a yeah, soldier. Wise. Just the work wow. he's doing. That's incredible. <sighs> yeah. Eight years old. I just thought, man, this little guy is a lot mm-hmm. more mature than me. <laughs> and and a lot of people I, I think know. he's teaching a lot of us. Yeah. I just thought it was super Something sweet. Something about kindness. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That is our positive, different story of the day. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Are you still reading that book I gave you? I am. Uh Uh-huh. And I just, last night, I read a really, it was a great story. So one thing I love about Pastor Robert Morris is he's super honest. Okay. And and a humble guy because, and and he'll say, I I struggle with humility. Like, my pride gets in the way all the time. Which maybe why he wrote a book about it. I think so. And so he's super transparent and he's sharing about how he had his eyes on this suburban that he kept looking at online, okay. right? Like and wanted to buy it. Yeah. This, okay. And talking about the shiny things of the world that tend to, you know. Get our attention. Exactly. And so he's got it in his mind. Okay, I can afford this. I've got this. I'm going to go check this Suburban out. And he's taking the exit and he hears the song come on the road or while he's taking the exit, he hears the song come on the radio and it says, turn your heart toward home. And he had already prayed before doing the Suburban, and he did not have peace about going, but he went anyway. Okay. And so then he hears this song, and he's thinking, I don't know, and he's like, but I turned off the radio. So he thinks maybe um, maybe God's talking to him. That I should turn around. Yeah, but, okay. but he ignored it. But he's it. like, no, I'm turning. So he's turn ignored it, it twice already. He's ignored it in prayer, even though he asked, uh-huh. you know. But and he didn't I feel peace about right. it. But he's yeah. moving forward anyway. I can totally relate to uh-huh. this. And then he hears this song, turns off the radio. It's like I'm not turning around. I'm right. turning this off. Gets to the dealership. He loves the suburban. Okay. He's like, I'm going to do it. Shiny. So yeah. they say, come back. We're going to get it ready for you. He's like, okay. So he leaves, comes back a little bit later, a few hours later. That same song. Is on his way again? As he's taking the exit, turn your heart toward home. Wow. Comes on again. He goes, so like every pastor would do. He goes, I turned off the radio. Again. <laughs> so Being honest. sarcastic, of course. Yeah. And he takes the exit. He goes there and, and they tell him, they said, I'm so sorry. We still don't have it ready. And he's like, okay. And so he calls his wife. He says, hey, can we go to dinner? Let's just, you know, buy some more time. They go to dinner. Now they're both heading to go get this Suburban. Okay. Not kidding you. Takes the exit again. Same song. Turn your heart toward home. He said it was bizarre. It was crazy. He goes, and I ignored it again. Three times. Three times. Okay. He goes, I bought that Suburban. He said, and I'm going to read this because I think this is so powerful. He said, well, let me tell you, nothing was as I thought it would be. Mm. The gas gauge broke soon after I bought it. It ran out of gas because of that, straining my whole family on the side of the road. No way. Every tire went flat at different times. Okay. Then the air conditioner broke. Wow. And he said, and this is in June in Texas. Oh, okay. And he said, I couldn't afford to fix it until October. Then, are you ready for this one? The engine had a small oil leak, ran out of oil, and blew up. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. He said, I finally said to the Lord, (laughs) Got it. I get the message. So he put a new engine in the Suburban and sold it immediately. And he said his wife asked him, like, why are you selling it now? Like, it has a new engine. He said, because God told me to buy it. He told me not to buy it in the first place. I'm getting rid of this thing. Uh Should have done this first. Yeah. Yeah. And what's amazing is a week later... A friend of his called and said, my wife and I bought a new Suburban. Our old one is three years old, and we just felt like we should give it to you. No. No way is what I said whenever I read that. And and he was just talking about pride and disobedience. And if, you know, and his heart on selling that Suburban was not so he would get another Suburban from someone yeah, else, right? No, it was, like, it hey, was just I'm like, okay, trying to be obedient. Trying to be obedient. And, and in God's grace, yeah. he just said, okay, now you get it. 
and I'm going to bless you anyway. Mm. Um, but, but and not that anytime you know we do right it doesn't mean you're going to get a free vehicle, right? Or if if you follow the no. Lord, He's just going to turn around, bless you, bless right. you, bless you. I mean, we, God does what He does, um, and, and it's just how, up to us to trust Him and and do what He you know and how calls gracious us to. of Him. You think about, man, when my yeah. kids, if I tell them to do something the third time, they're still saying no, <laughs> things are not going well, right? But for him to be that gracious and say, okay, yeah, I guess you learned something here. Mm-hmm. And watch how, you want to learn something else? Watch how kind and gracious I am. Wow. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Where we love sharing stories of what God's up to, making a positive difference, even here in our community. Uh, in fact, today we thought we'd share some really uplifting stories from our friends at Feed 479. Uh-huh. We were just, well, it was a few weeks ago, we were yeah. hanging out there, right? Went Serving. Help them out a little bit. Mm-hmm. And just a phenomenal ministry. Yeah. Uh-huh. Every day they're providing uh, food. It's a food pantry, a choice pantry, where people can come and choose their food. And we got to meet some awesome people, uh-huh. both that are serving there and being served there. Uh, and got to sit down and hear just some amazing stories and hear a little bit more about Feed 479. I'm Katie Stone. I'm the pantry manager at Feed 479. We're a choice pantry here. So our neighbors come in, they shop, they get to pick out their choices. Um, Each day we get the pantry ready. We have pickups, deliveries, and we stock the pantry. One of the things I love about Feed 479 is that we get to share the gospel with our neighbors. We not only get to feed them, but we get to share the gospel with them. Um, We get to pray with them. We get to extend hope to them when they're in a hopeless situation. And we get to provide food for their family. And it just makes coming to work every day so easy when you know that you have a purpose and that you get to share love with them and share Christ with them. Seeing the impact of Feed 479 has been truly amazing each and every day the stories that come out one day i was checking in a couple and they uh had been here previously and they wanted to let me know that they heard uh the music playing over our system and it was klrc or worship music and they wanted to let us know that they got saved that day and that they wanted to speak see if the gentleman who led them to christ was here and they wanted to share with him their testimony that they're both, and they love the Lord, and they love coming back to this place um, where they first met Christ. And it's just such a blessing to hear testimony after testimony like that. And that's why I love working here. Man. Isn't that amazing? So, so cool. So cool. I, I've been there before when that bell rings in there. That means somebody decided, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to surrender my life to uh-huh. Jesus. I don't want just my stomach to get filled here. I want my soul to get filled. And it is such a beautiful thing. Such Mm -hmm. a beautiful thing. Well, just being in that environment, I was like, this is what God's church is all about. This is Mm -hmm. what it it, it should be. I mean, truly, they are there to love people first and foremost. and, And then they offer the gospel. But they're not like chasing you down with a with a shopping cart right right it's just they're helping you yeah. and and they have klrc music playing over the which we love stereo which grateful for yeah which is also help lead some people to, uh-huh. to jesus which is which really is really cool why we're here so there are more stories to share this morning in fact one that blew me away how a cancer diagnosis god used literally that to um just l- transform perspective And we'll share more about that coming up this morning. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. We've been sharing some of these really cool stories uh, that we got exposed to just a couple of weeks ago as a team. We were hanging out with our friends at Feed 479 and just loving on people, serving. And like anytime you serve, you always feel like you get more Mm -hmm. because your life gets richer. You Mm -hmm. get perspective. Uh, And there was a guy you met that had, man, such great... Such a neat story. Um, His name was Cleo Lloyd. Super nice guy. And I just happened to be casually talking with him and he was sharing part of his story and it just really moved me and if you're not sure what feed 479 is basically they're a food pantry out of springdale and they feed thousands of people a Mm -hmm. month and it was just really special and neat to get to have this conversation with cleo 
My name is Cleo Lloyd. Uh, I have volunteered here for the last three and a half years at 479. Uh, we give out food on a regular basis, four days a week here. And it's just been a blessing to me. It all started uh, three and a half years ago. I was diagnosed with cancer. And uh, the Lord allowed that to be a false diagnosis. And I told my wife at that point that I was going to give back. So we, I started coming up here every week. And I have received more of a blessing than what I give out. I feel like I get more out of what I'm doing than what I give. It's just helping people seeing what changes that occur just on their faces and uh, i just uh, i just feel blessed well just individual situations you find people who have their fa their families have broke up uh, a husband who has uh, went through a divorce and has children at home and i uh, had one man traveling over a hundred miles to come up here and when he told me his story it just emptied me out you know i just felt for him and this this happens every week we have all these people who are so needy and uh there's just a need that needs to be filled and i'm just proud that i can be a part of fulfilling it wow Man, awesome. i love his heart i know it's so cool and what's so cool too so many that have been served at the food pantry after they've gotten on their feet they'll come back and they're serving mm -hmm. and so that's that's another neat aspect of what's going on there yeah it's just a little glimpse and it's one of those things not everybody even knows that's happening in our community on a regular basis and so we love highlighting and sharing these stories of how god's at work so we'll share a few more too in fact um i got to meet velma she was awesome Aww. uh we'll tell you about her coming up in our next half hour the KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. And we've been brightening things up a little bit today with these very cool stories that we mm -hmm. we got to literally hear firsthand just a few weeks ago as a team. Uh, we got to spend a few hours just serving alongside our friends at Feed 479. Uh, they were in that food pantry in mm -hmm. Springdale serving literally, it's over 100,000 people mm -hmm. in the course of a year. Which, which is, is incredible. And every one of those, a precious soul. Some are young, some are old, some are single, some have families, uh, and all of them uh, uh, just need some help to make sure that they can feed their bellies, right? And get food that they need. And they get to go and pick out the food. Uh, so just a lot of dignity. It's a very cool system, the way they have it. Uh, and we got to meet lots and lots of people. Uh, and one of those that I got to meet... She came around the corner and she's like, I'm next. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm next to help. So we grabbed her cart. Her name was Velma, uh, which was kind of fun because my grandma's name was Velma. So instantly Aww. I was like, Connection. And she kind of like she had that grandma vibe to her. She yeah. was super sweet. Um, and we talked about all kinds of things. But the thing that and I remember telling you this, too, she was just so grateful. Mm -hmm. Like just the gratitude in her heart was just overwhelming. Mm hmm. Well, I'll start, I live in Fayetteville, and I heard on KLRC about the Feed the 479, and I thought that that was God's word to me, that I could get help, because for, I'm on a fixed income, and there's never enough money for food, you got enough food. And I came to 479, I got welcomed with open arms, and I'm just, thank God, every day for them and other pantries that help people that are on disability or income. You know, God led me. He never leads me wrong. Mm -hmm. Man, and she knows it and she's lived it. Yeah, she was just so sweet. And she even had a, a KLRC sticker on the back of her, her I van. I had no idea she was a listener at yeah, first. She says, I listen every day and, and God, you know, continue. just her faith was amazing. And, um, and just, again, being a part of that food pantry that particular day, just watching all those volunteers serve and several who have been to the food pantry with their own need mm -hmm. now serve at the food pantry, which is really uh, which is cool. pretty beautiful. So anyway, just a really neat group over there at feed four, seven, nine. Yeah. And we've been just sharing some of these stories, uh, this morning. They are our partner that we're partnering with, with this month to share the stories of what God's up to so many great organizations in our community. And these are just some of those stories that not all of us know about, but we love to celebrate because God really is every day at work in our community and, and food 
a big deal around here. Like mm-hmm. when you hear the stats, right? And it, and we have we're financially an area that's blessed in a lot of ways with resources, but there are a lot of people that and they don't know where that next meal is coming from, right. or they're making decisions about. Well, I either go get groceries or I buy gas Mm -hmm. and I got to get to work. And how do I make that all work? And so uh, Feed 479 steps in in such a beautiful way. And so we just love celebrating that together. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Happy birthday. This is just so exciting. Let's keep this party going. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Hey, happy birthday. All right. Birthday bash time. Marketplace Grill birthday bash for Thursday, March the 7th. And celebrating today, Mark Fugarosi in Springdale having a birthday, as well as Easton Qualls, the big seven in Hinesville. And Danica Friend says, am I really 50? I don't know. We're not sure. I guess you're the one to tell us. But Danica's in Cave Springs, so we think you're 50 today. And Rhett Barnes turning the big eight in Cave Springs. Also, Jenny Porterfield in Bella Vista. Happy birthday today. Also, Gene Fulcher in Fayetteville. Blake Strait, nine years old. All right. That's a great name. I know. Blake Blake Strait. Strait. Uh, In Centerton and Ellison Phelps in Bentonville turns 11 years old today. Happy birthday, everybody. And the randomizer is going to pick a winner for us. We've got a gift certificate for one of you to celebrate your birthday with our friends at the Marketplace Grill and Jenny Porterfield and Bella Vista. Happy birthday, Jenny! We're going to set you up.